Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today I thought I would talk you guys through my top five favorite powders from the drugstore. These are my tried and true for every single powder purpose. I have found a favorite powder from the drugstore. I think these are super high quality and given a blind test to a lot of people not knowing which was the luxury and which was the drugstore. A lot of people would choose these if they could get past the drugstore stigma. But anyway, I'll get off my soapbox and go ahead and get into my top five favorite powders from the drugstore. So this first one won't be a surprise to anyone that's been watching my channel and it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I have mine in the shade Translucent and if you are an oily skin girl like me, this is a must-have powder in your collection. I use this to set my face on a daily basis anywhere where I get oily and this really does the trick. It keeps my oil at bay for way longer and it doesn't disturb the quality of the makeup underneath. It doesn't move any of my foundation or concealer or whatever I'm putting it on top of and it doesn't alter the color whatsoever. It truly is translucent but the thing that I love the most about this is definitely how amazing it is at oil control. So again for you oily skin girls out there this is a must-have and it's super affordable. Okay, next up is another translucent powder. This one is by Physicians Formula. This is their mineral wear pressed powder. Looks like this. This is the translucent shade. It's got a little flap underneath here with a mirror, which is awesome. My favorite thing about this powder is the fact that it has an SPF of 30 in it. So you know how most moisturizers or foundations say to apply every two hours to maintain your SPF? I don't know about you guys, but I am not going to be taking my makeup off and reapplying it every two hours in order to maintain my SPF if I'm outside all day. And this is a really great alternative. You can just dust this all over your face and you're re-upping on your SPF and you're re-mattifying your face. I'd recommend blotting before applying this just so you're not mixing oil and powder and making a cakey effect but this is a great way to keep an SPF when you're gonna be outside all day long and the formula on this just like the formula on all of these I'm gonna talk about like I said it feels super super high-end I absolutely love this okay so this next one I absolutely adore obviously I love all of these but I have a super special place in my heart for this one and it is the NYX HD finishing powder in the shade translucent so I have the loose powder version of this as well and I don't like it nearly as much as the pressed version. The loose version gives me like a white cast underneath my eyes and this one does not. I call this like my airbrush powder. I have really large pores right here around my nose and this powder is like airbrush. It blurs my pores unbelievably well and just makes everything look completely airbrushed especially if I use it with like a powder puff and dip it in there and then like really roll it onto my pores. Not only does it help keep my makeup in place all day it really, I can't think of a better way to say it, it really does airbrush my pores and for those of you with larger pores, this stuff is like a miracle worker. Super high quality and super affordable. Okay, so this next one is not in its original packaging. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what it actually looks like in the store. But this is the NYX Smooth Skin Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. So I bought this little container off of Amazon because it has a twist off top and then a sifter. The NYX Smooth Skin Loose Powder has just a top that you can lift off. There's no screw to it. So you can't travel with it. You can't like throw it in a bag without worrying about powder spilling everywhere. So that's the only downside to this powder is the packaging. But I'll add a link to where I got this little container. It was really affordable off of Amazon. I don't bake my face very often, but if I do, this is the powder that I use 100%. It's a super smooth, silky powder that just like becomes part of your skin. It sets your makeup, but in such a natural, smooth looking way, not in a cakey or powdery looking way. It makes my makeup last longer and it makes my skin look super smooth smooth. That's the perfect name for this product is smooth skin because it really does give that effect to your skin. It makes it look and feel really smooth to the touch. So if you're looking for an affordable powder for baking your face or baking your contour, this is definitely my recommendation for that. Okay, and then last but not least is this Maybelline Better Skin Powder. This has salicylic acid in it and I love this powder for my handbag. I keep it in my purse at all times because not only is it the perfect little compact, to touch up your makeup because it has a little mirror and a little sponge right here. But this powder could be used as a powder foundation. It has that much coverage. Whenever I'm having trouble with my 
my skin if I've got a bad breakout or something. Having this in my purse just gives me peace of mind because it does have a lot of coverage so if my blemish starts peeking through I know I can just dab this on top of it and not only will it conceal it but it also has salicylic acid in it so it's not like you're just putting junk on top of it you're actually putting something that helps a little bit with the acne. It is such a smooth formula. Again it feels super silky and it has such a huge shade range. You can find your perfect shade. So I think this would be perfect for those of you that are looking for a powder foundation. You could use this by itself and get a nice sheer coverage. Or for those of you looking for a super super full coverage and want to set your foundation with a powder that will add to the coverage, this is perfect for that. Or if you're like me and you just want to have something in your purse that can add some coverage where you need it throughout the day, I think this is a fantastic powder. So those are my top five powders from the drugstore. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite powder is from the drugstore. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!